Hello, my name's Shelley and I'd like to show you how I mash up drama and ICT with a few examples from my classroom. Hello Keith, you may already know me but if you don't, I'm Richard Branson, owner of Virgin Airways. My wife is a big wildlife fan and she saw some posters asking for help. And well, I'll do anything to keep my lovely wife happy, so I'm offering you free places on one of our Atlantic flights. Call me back for more details. Bye bye now. So how else can you get a famous person into your classroom? Crazy talk is one way. I used this a lot before we got iPads to start um, drama or to move it along. Of course, you don't always need a celebrity. You can have an imaginary character too. Hello, it's Wolf again. Can you help me please? I'd like an itinerary so that I know exactly where to go and what I can see while I'm in St Lucia. I think we're going for two weeks. I want to know where to find the birds and what else we can do while we are there. Also, I'm not sure what to pack in my suitcase. Can you help me with that? This drama happened when we became Fairy Tale Travel Company, who boasted that they could take fairy tale characters anywhere. So it caused a bit of a dilemma when Wilf turned up, having won the lottery, wanting to go to St Lucia. The travel company didn't go there. Tensions like this are fantastic for creating a purpose for learning and writing. So my class in Roll had to go to St Lucia and learn all about the country in order to put together a guide for Wilf. We can use Morpho now in the same way. Well, hello there. My name is Oliver Jeffers. I write books. I've got this book. It's called The Incredible Book Eating Boy. It's a great book, but it needs more detail. Like, what he eats every day. Can you help me with that, please? You have to excuse the ac accent here, um, but Morpho is a lot quicker than using Crazy Talk, and it just gives the children a real purpose for writing. So, last year we became the Wildlife Protection and Investigation Team and um, we actually used ICT in quite a few different ways. One thing that we imagined that we did was put up this owl nesting box and we took great delight in watching um, the mother look after her eggs and then watching them hatch. Um, I also created a Weebly which the children then added all their expert areas to. And we're actually going to use this again this year and add to it our expertise about bats and hedgehogs too. I had help with this mantle from a good friend on Twitter who became Backwards Billy Baxter and actually helped us 